All right, Shalom. First, like to start by saying all praise to Yahweh by Shemel Shai, by Shem Kakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles that rule well, and salutations to the brothers that's doing the truth and sincerity. Now, this here is a, a lesson on these protests that's going on and how we're not to get involved with it because um, this is part of the Lord's agenda. And eventually, uh, Yahweh of the elect, Lord, will give his men or us spiritual powers to take this world back over and uh, rule it and even, uh, 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 you know, um, get involved, so to speak, you know, but not like get involved with the protest, but, you know, execute whom he won't execute it. But um, this is uh, Habakkuk chapter two, verse five. It say, yay. Oh, no, it's like here. Habakkuk chapter two, verse two. It says, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision Make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Right? And the vision is talking about the prophecies. And the prophecy, this right here, is uh, the uproars of the people. And we've been waiting on this through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Rashad. And now it's happening. So, you know, we ain't got no business with, you know, getting involved now that it's here, you know. It says, um, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but... At the end, we at the end of this uh, man's society. It shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because at one point in time, these prophecies won't happen like this. You know, we uh, had to um, just go out there and prophesy to whomever, you know, to to the wind until the prophecy started rolling, you know. And a lot of people came in like that by seeing it. It says, because it, it will surely come, it will not tarry. Right, and as we can see, it's not tearing like how it used to. It's, it's coming to pass, and everything is just uh, uh, speeding up. So I'm going to go ahead and play this clip and grab some more precepts. In the largest public safety operation in Minnesota's history, local and state police and 4,000 members of the National Guard took a stand. Aggressively using tear gas, pepper spray, and drawn weapons in a desperate attempt to squelch days of escalating chaos. This time, no major fires or injuries. I want to thank everyone who participated in our ability to restore trust to our streets. It was incredibly complex. It was incredibly difficult. The tactics were the strictest yet. Here, we shoot a paint canister at someone on their front porch. A journalist like NBC's Ali Velshi. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Your head, your head, he's head. And Morgan Chesky were in the middle of it. They have tripled the amount of law enforcement here in Minneapolis tonight. Enforcement authorities here acknowledge they did not have an adequate plan to confront large-scale violent protests earlier in the week. What took so long to get on the same page? A good question. I think resources. Uh, I think uh, we're all kind of asking that question. I think now we know what we need. Uh, we know that we need a unified command. Today, a peaceful protest at the state capitol and a growing makeshift memorial for George Floyd. Demonstrators are demanding more charges for the other three fired officers involved after the one who knelt on his neck was charged with third-degree murder and manslaughter on Friday. Now, new security video of what happened moments earlier appears to show a struggle in the backseat of a police vehicle. Michael Holliday came here from Houston. He says he's protesting peacefully, but that he understands why the anger runs so deep. Sometimes violence is needed. It got your attention, right? He does not consider himself an outside agitator. Imagine if it was your child. How would you feel? Imagine if it was your son on the ground screaming, I can't breathe. Help me. Please. If it was you, what would you want somebody to do? Would you want the community to come stand up with you? Or would you want them to go home and go to sleep? Gabe joins us now from Minneapolis. Right. And, you know, that's what the scriptures uh, uh, get at, at what you're supposed to be doing, even though why all this is going on, I'm, you know.
This Psalm chapter 37, verse 7, it says, Rest in the Lord, Yahweh, and wait patiently for him. Right? So you're supposed to be resting in the Lord, man. That means coming back to these scriptures, getting this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding so you can be delivered when that time comes. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. And fret not means uh, be not angry that this white man is prospering in this society, man. Um, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass, and the ultimate device is to bring uh, this new world order, man. But, um, you know, Esau is fulfilling his agenda right now as we speak, you know. So, you know, we see this happening and everything. We're not to get involved just because we get upset behind it. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. And to do evil is going against what Yahweh Shemal Shah uh, laid down for us. Laid down for us, like you. Um, Jake and him out there fighting against Esau is uh, against the scriptures. Hold on, give me one second. All right, so like you. It says, uh, <clears throat> Psalms 37, verse um, 8, it says, Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evil doers, doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh shall inherit the earth. Right? So we're supposed to wait upon Yahweh Shemal Shai for when he come back, you know, and, then, and give us the green light, you know. Uh, and then that's how we're going to inherit the earth, man. Uh, following and listening to what the Lord say. It says, For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Right, Esau eventually going to get wiped out because he's the one who's bringing these devices to pass, man. He's the one, the reason why all of this chaos is happening because he's trying to fulfill his agenda, which is the new world order. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. This Psalm chapter 37, verse 34. It says, Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. Right? So eventually, um, you know, by us waiting, the Lord gonna give us the kingdom of heaven, which includes um uh uh the the world, as a matter of fact. And um Esau gonna eventually be cut off, you know. He's only gonna have a thousand years of slavery, then they eventually gonna be cut off, man. And then we're gonna actually get to see. Um, um Esau actually we uh, let me read it again. It says uh, verse 34, it says, Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt it to inherit the land when the wicked are cut off. Thou shalt see it, right? So we're gonna get to see when Esau get taken out of power. Slock you. And then um yeah, slock you. This is Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 8. It says, Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For, the, for my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them mine indignation. Right, so we're supposed to wait upon the Habash Shai because the Lord already got a plan. Esau got his plan rolling, and the Lord got his plan uh, rolling right on with Esau's, man. And the Lord got what the Lord doing now is gathering the nations. You know? Because the Lord want to punish all the nations. You know, not just this white man. That I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Right? The Lord has been sitting back watching Esau and the rest of the nations uh, devour us, man. And everything that we've been going through, man. So the Lord, when he when he comes back, he's going to have it. He's going to have um, uh, the inventions that was created, that Esau created. Get used on himself and other nations, man, and uh, uh, which is the nuclear missiles, and America gonna be destroyed right along with uh the land of Israel, man. So the Lord said He got a plan already, man. We ain't gotta do nothing.
Minneapolis, Gabe, I know there are fears there this evening that this calm may not hold. Well, Lester, all the gatherings today, including this one, have been peaceful, but police are not taking any chances. The National Guard says it was warned by the FBI of a credible lethal threat. So that's why its guardsmen are now armed. Mm -hmm. And all that was set up by Esau. Give it a moment across the country in connection with the violence that has in widespread unrest not seen in decades American cities from Seattle to Washington DC burned as many peaceful protests during the day turned to rioting and destruction by night Governors in 12 U.S. states have activated National Guard troops to no quell peace. the violence and restore order. No peace. It was the latest move in a week of escalating tensions after George Floyd died in police custody. Derek Chauvin, the Minneapolis officer who pinned Floyd to the ground using his knee, now faces third-degree murder charges in connection with Floyd's death. But protesters demand more, including charges against other officers involved. I want to make it... Right now, this is old. All the officers eventually were charged... I think one was uh, released on bail, and that's as far as I can remember thus far. Change for my people because too long that this has been going on, and things need to change around everywhere because nothing's going to change if we keep talking, obviously, or keep posting something on social media. So Since Thursday, the Associated Press reports police have arrested about 1,700 people in 22 cities across the country and connected. I just got an article that just came up before I started this video <clears throat> that 10,000 protesters have been arrested, you know, and you know, all they're doing is, um, well, Esau built prisons for that. Not only did he build prisons, he built, he got concentration camps for that. So who's to say that a lot of these people are not being put in concentration camps already? <laughs> With the violence that has left dozens of businesses burned, officers wounded, and several demonstrators killed. What began in response to Floyd's death in Minneapolis has also reached outside the U.S., drawing hundreds to the streets of London in a sign of solidarity with those seeking racial equality. Well, we've seen for hundreds of years black people and people of color be absolutely abused and killed on the streets, and it's just getting worse and worse. We've had enough, and if they're not going to listen, we're going to scream louder and louder, and we're not going to stop until something is done. We've had enough. This is people who have had enough. It's time to make some changes. Minnesota Congresswoman right, Ilhan right. Omar it's represents right. parts of the city of Minneapolis. That's why a lot of this has happened, because uh, the philosophies that's being pushed out all over the world uh, by Esau. ...at the epicenter of the demonstrations and says there needs to be nationwide reforms. And on this sign, you know, uh, it looked like it said, let my people go. That's what it looked like. I seen let my people, but I didn't see the bottom part. And then, as, as you can see, that's prophecy, because that's what's coming. We are seeing <laughs> the unrest we are seeing in our nation isn't just because of the life that was taken. It's also because so many people have experienced this. So many people have experienced injustices within our system. In prepared remarks after the successful launch of the first U.S. astronauts on a commercial spacecraft, President Donald Trump said while he supports peaceful protests, he won't tolerate lawlessness and destruction. The memory of George Floyd is being dishonored by rioters, looters, and anarchists. The violence and vandalism is being led by Antifa and other radical left-wing groups who are terrorizing the innocent, destroying jobs, hurting businesses, and burning down buildings. It was a message his national security advisor, Robert O'Brien, defended after another night of unrest. And the president's outraged by that, and we all are, and, and that has to stop, and we're calling on the FBI to investigate Antifa and, and get to the bottom of these, these violent rioters, and I don't want them confused with peaceful protesters that have every right to go out to the streets. That's, that's what makes America different from, from many other countries around the world. With the large crowds that gather to demonstrate comes the risk of further spreading COVID-19. As the unrest in America continues, the number of infections in the U.S. from the coronavirus is also rising, along with the death toll, which now exceeds 100,000. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Chicago, Illinois.
right, <clears throat> this is the last precept. This is uh, Romans chapter 13, verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of the Most High. The powers that be are ordained of the Most High. I'm talking about Esau, this white man. Whoso therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of the Most High. You have a smile shy. All right, so if you try to fight up, fight this man, take up arms behind everything that's going on, you're going to fight against the Lord. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. Right. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Will thou then be not be uh, then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of the Most High to thee for good. But if thou do what which is evil, be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of Yahweh Shemal Shai, a revenger to execute wrath upon him. That doeth evil right. So the Lord set this devil up to to, to, to execute uh, 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 his orders and his vengeance upon earth. Man, so ain't no point way in hell should we be out there or even be in that spirit. So uh, with that being said, call Lord, you have a smile shy. Double honors to the elders and apostles that rule well. And salutations to the brothers that's doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom. <clears throat>